Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at how you can create a registration page for your sports club. Um, you can embed a form, so it's, it's going to sit right in the middle here. Um, so your members can go on there, they can register, they can say you know, what their team name is, all their personal details, all the, the times they might want to play and um, have all those details come through that form. Uh, in the back office, we're going to be using Podio um, project management software. So that's $9 um, per employee per month. So if you have one employee managing this, then you could have a thousand members putting in their details. It's costing you just that one fee of $9 per month for that employee to get those details. And you can export them as an Excel spreadsheet. So if you want to take those details, uh, sort them according to who wants to play on a particular night or a particular division. You can also do that. So just a really cheap way, I'd say all up ends up being under $20 per month to have your website set up and the um, registration app in the background. So we're going to have a quick look at how to set that up. So at the moment we're just on a um, pretty basic looking, we've just called it World Sports website. Uh, only a few pages on here, home about registration. So we're just focusing on registration at the moment, but you can put in, in the contact field, you could have another form that goes through to your same Podio workspace. And on there, any um, new members coming in who have inquiries um, can put their details in there, which is really handy. So we'll go across now. Uh, this is our Podio setup. Uh, we do go into this in more detail in some of our other videos about how to set this up. So we're going to be, um, I'll just be pausing the video to fill in some sections to make this a little bit quicker. But what we're doing in here is Podio makes it so that you can set up your own individual apps across the top. And what that's doing is capturing different types of information and, and having people work on different um, topics and parts of your business all within the one app. So in here we're going to go into creating an app. And we're going to call this registrations. This one's registrations as well. I'll find something that's relevant. Just put a person in there, the different views. These aren't so important, it's not like a client facing, this is more just so that if you've got staff members looking through here, they say, oh, what's this app for? And it'll just tell them. Uh, I'm call this just a standard one, advanced, you can go in there and you can have it, just a few options for disabling comments and not letting particular people add things in there. This is just one of the other apps that we're using. So we've got registrations here. What I'm going to do is I'll just give you a quick rundown. Here's all the different categories that we can put in. Uh, you can see here that the text at the top. So we might. I'll just quickly show you this one, and then I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you it once it's complete. Team name. So now we've filled in the details of the form. So we've got team name, team details. Uh, do you play for more than one team? So in this particular form, we're doing it for volleyball and some people do play on, say, a full court team, a rebound team. They might play in a, a, a pairs later in the week. So we've got the day preferences here. Uh, so people can this is select at least one. So some people might play the full court here, the full court on this day. So they'll be able to select more than one. We've got, we'll click on multiple choice here so that they can put more than one option. And on here we've got time preferences. So this is just for scheduling, try to schedule all the teams to make sure they don't clash. And on this one as well, we're putting multiple choice and selecting at least three slots. Type your name to agree to the above term. So we're going to put some terms up in the top of the form uh, for, so that when they actually type their name in, they're agreeing to those terms, um, which is on the registration form. So we can click done once we've done that will take us back into the app and we'll be setting up a web form from in there. So you can see now this has been set up, registrations app up the top here, which you can click on. We've got also leads here, which is if you've got, say, some client leads coming into a business, that's a 
totally different app that we've set up as well. Uh, you can see these badges. This is the badge view, which will have them all. You can switch views and have table with all the details across in individual, almost like an Excel kind of spreadsheet activity, a bit more like a Facebook um, page and cards just kind of stack some under individual categories. So pretty interesting. Uh, over here, and we're going to go into web form. The good thing about this is that you can actually collect some data on your website and add your own data in behind the scenes. So you can kind of hide some of the fields and you'll see, you'll notice that uh, we've got team name, do you play for more than one team? Uh, here are the day preferences, those time preferences, type your name to agree to the above terms. Uh, and we've also got attachments here. So if I turn that off, uncheck that, you'll see that takes that off as well. Uh, one other thing that I'll just need to add in, I'll just add in a contact section. So we'll be adding in the member or the member will actually be adding in their own details, which is going to save you a lot of time uh, using the, it's called workspace contacts section here. So there's a few sections we don't actually need in the workspace contacts um, part of the app. So we probably just need their name, we don't need their title, we don't even need their organization. Uh, we've got their phone, email, uh, you might want to have their address. Uh, Postcode, city, state, country. You can put quite a few details in. I think if we're just doing a sign up, actually, we will take we'll take all those out. But you can see those being added over here. Uh, you could put Skype if you wanted to be able to contact them simply. Uh, do you play for more than one team? That's that question there, and you'll see they can just check that. You can change these so that they're drop down boxes if you like. There's those preferences. Um, type your, your name there to agree to the terms above, which will be writing and submit down the bottom. So this is a quick look at the preview of what it's going to look like. Once we get down to here, this side over here is where we're customizing the form. So at the moment we've just got, we don't actually have any name for the form. So we'll putting, be putting in team, team registration form. And you could put you know, whatever year it is, 2015, we'll think in the future. And I'll just add in the, so we've just added in up the top here, team registration form 2015. Uh, I've just put in some details, which you'll see in the form once it comes out. So this is what is above the theme. Uh, we've also put in uh, the capture form, which is just to stop getting um, spam entries in there, which you might get. Uh, the button text you customize, instead of submit, I put register my awesome team. Success message, thank you for registering, um, and just a little message there. It says some HTML is a lot allowed, so I'll just put in these two to make that drop down uh, one line got those details now. The only other thing you've got to do here before you go and add this onto your website is we have to grab the website address. Get back there. And so we're just going to allow it to be on our particular domain name. So I usually like to just, you can just get away with putting the www, but I like to put in the two. Save and share. Looks like I haven't put it in properly up here. Have a look. Fantastic. So now we've got two options. One is that you could actually send this out to your members this as a link, say in a newsletter saying, come and fill in this form, uh, which can be a good option. Some people will would be put off by having that kind of an address, but you could kind of semi hide it behind a link saying a registration form and setting this as the actual link for your registration form. Your other option is to embed it into your website. Uh, so it just looks like it's part of your website. So we've got this, some script down here. So I'm just going to, 
going to copy some of that. Copy that. You can click done when you're ready. And we'll flick across to the World Sports website on Weebly. We're going to have some other um, Weebly videos about how to set these up. But this is just giving you a brief overview. What I'll just show you how easily you can do this. I'm just going to embed the code in. I like the fact that it's got the same wording. Put that code in like that. Hit publish. So if I go across now to this was our form before with those same details. There is our registration form, team name, the team name, the team contact details, are you playing with more than one team? It's got the capture settings down there and register. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly fill in this form. So I've just filled in those details there, playing on three nights. Got a preference for the earlier hours. Put in the name to say that I agree to these the terms up above here. Add it in the capture. Register my awesome team. Thanks for registering. And there's that little message that we wanted to have there. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump across into uh, the page that we're just in. We're going to click on registrations. And you will see there is our first registered player. And the good thing about this is you can have stats down the side. So you can start seeing which ones are popular across all the different um, times that people will be playing. You can see which ones, are, which pref which time slots that have the most preferences. So you might have 500 members and you'll be able to see quite quickly which ones are more popular and which ones aren't. Um, you can get a lot of details. These are just little widgets that you can set up. Or they call them tiles. And you can have all sorts of stats that you can have that you can have averages. Um, it does quite a few different calculations. And I'll show you those different views as well. So we've got the table view as well, um, which can be handy. You can even drag these across. Just have some of the other details. Which will show you which slots and all of these. It can be, you can save those views in there. And from within, you can um, do an Excel export. So once you have all those registrations come in, export that out so that you can get that data you can find out and start arranging all your teams that way so that is looking at a simple way of doing a booking form for your sports center